Good morning, everyone. My name is Gabriela Hidalgo, and I am an associate attorney here at Rufkin Thompson Rosinski. I'm part of the Commercial Litigation and Family Law Division. Today, we're going to discuss alimony. Now, alimony comes into place when there's a dissolution of marriage, which is a divorce. The court will determine whether to award alimony depending on whether the party has an actual need as well as whether the party can actually afford to pay the alimony. Some of the factors are taken in consideration are, for example, the duration of the marriage, the capacities, education, and capabilities of each party, the contributions of each party to the marriage, their age, physical and emotional capacities, and as well as many others. Now, there is a rebuttable presumption in the state of Florida that a marriage that's less than seven years is considered short term. A marriage that's moderate is seven to 17 years, and a marriage that's long in duration is over 17 years. Now, in the state of Florida, there are four types of alimony that a party can try to request. The first type is known as bridge the gap alimony. Bridge the gap alimony may be awarded to a party in a short, short term basis. It cannot exceed two years and is basically focused on assisting the party from transitioning between married life to being single. This is a brief overview of alimony in the state of Florida. Of course, if you have any type of questions regarding this legal issue or any others, feel free to give us a call. We're a full service law firm and our contact number is 833 hire Thank you and have a good day.